as he eliminates Destroyer from the tournament, wanting the run back. Who is he going to choose this time? Are we going to see a rematch of Tremor and Ferritor, or is he going to switch? He's deeply considering it. Yes, he sticks with Ferritor. All right, now, Voorhees shown some massive, massive, very, very, very well done performance points here from Ferritor. Doing an excellent job just keeping his opponents under pressure at all times, using the pain and gain cancels, the damage. Oh my god, the damage. He hit he hit Destroyer eight times for 46% damage. And an early start from Burrito Voorhees as he catches him trying to backdash. And another mix up from Voorhees doing a very good job here getting started. Now Forever King gets out of the corner, but he still has some, some work to make up here. Forever King waiting for his turn. Doesn't get it. He tries to armor up, but it's not working on his favor. Gets the flash parry. Armors up again. Loses the corner advantage. His brother switches him to the other side, ready to return the favor. Putting that pressure on him. Pain again. The grab is teched. Jump kicks him. Throws a box at him. He's just being so mean right now. Being the big bully, big brother. Little bro not having that as he takes the first no. round. He is doing really well right now. He is doing a really good job with, with Ferritor. Yes, sir. It's always fun to watch these two fight because they know each other so well. It doesn't matter what character they play. They're fighting their tendencies. Yeah, these guys, they play so much. It's in, the, it's in their blood. It's Literally. in the DNA. That's All what right, Kendrick told us. Exactly. Forever King here doing a very good job here fighting back. Showing like, hey, I taught you what you know. I taught you. This is uh, this is my playground. This is my yard. All right, Voorhees showing here like, oh yeah, well I got stuff on my own too. Let's go, big bro. Let's go, little bro. And this is some very good stuff here. Gets a cross up. But this is MKX. We don't care about cross ups. We got a button for that. It's called armor. Ooh, and a nice evasion, but gets caught trying to jump over Forever King. And a nice 4 one, two, one string to end the round. Forever King here taking round number two. A very intense game one from both players. Forever King doing his hardest, trying to defend against Burrito Voorhees. As Burrito Voorhees trying to get those picks, using the boss toss. Nice pressure here from Burrito Voorhees. Oh no, he whiffed the throw and he's gonna eat a lot of damage from this. Getting pushed to the corner. Oh, and a lack of stamina doesn't allow him to get another cancel. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, Forever King here does not have stamina, so he has to be careful until he gets it back. Same with Voorhees. Oh, and he blocks the mix-up, but no punish. And Forever King trying his hardest to stay out of Voorhees' way, but it doesn't look like it'll work for long. Uh-oh. He gets to finish the combo, and he got smacked in the face. No brutality this time, no fatality. Just hit him with the backhand so we can proceed to the next match. All right, Voorhees taking some time here to rethink things. Forever King sticking with Tremor, of course. Uh-oh, Shinnok. Now this is always an interesting moment. This is where you get a chance to really peer into a player's mind for just a brief, you know, just a brief second. You see the decision making progress, the, different emotions and choices that they're weighing as they're trying to like figure out their next step here. So this is the next step. Hellfire Scorpion versus versus Crystalline Tremor. Yes. This may very well go in Voorhees' favor with the Flame Aura being able to stop Forever King right in his tracks whenever he tries to armor up, mm -hmm. as well as having the teleport, which doesn't allow Forever King to play lame as he's been doing recently in this tournament. Ooh, it gets the flash parry. Forever King having no problem taking the fight to Voorhees. Of course not. They're so familiar with each other, they're just swinging. Oh yeah, this is uh, definitely a slugfest going on right now. And some nice pressure here from Voorhees, but Forever King blocks it all and gets a response. Armor's up. Junior is waiting for his spot. So Ooh, he gets it's activate fancy. Hellfire. And start the mix-ups and the resets, and the vortex. 
Oh my gosh, and what a 4-1 from Forever King. He just needs to get that one touch. But King is not having it, doing an excellent job of blocking right now. Oh my he god, Forever King is blocking everything right now. He just waited for his brother to do something unsafe and punished accordingly. That was incredible patience. Very, very smart stuff from Forever King. Oh, and uh -oh. there's that teleport. Checking him, trying to keep him outside. This is where King did not want to be. Avoids the reset there. Forever King just reading everything that Voorhees is doing. He knows all the mix-ups, all the tendencies, all the holes as he gets the counter poke there. Man, this is one of those I know you know that I know that I'm going to do this. Right, so many mind games, so many. This is some, This is chess right now. It We're is. going back and forth. They are thinking three moves ahead. That's why you may think you're seeing some questionable stuff, because they play each other so much. All right, now Voorhees, he's getting a little too conservative with the counter post here. He's going to have to be a lot more proactive with his strings if he tries to get something started. And King goes up 2-0. to zero. Let him know it's 2-0. to zero. Scores 2-0! to zero. Just in case. Just in case. We have to keep up now, okay? <laughs> Cannot have a repeat. We have to. We have to be sure. Had to let him know. All right. So Voorhees, he he tested the waters there. Got it. All right. Now Voorhees tested the waters here using Hellfire Scorpion to see if he can get something started. Unfortunately, he couldn't. So now he's going back to the basics, the very thing that got him started in the first place. Ooh, and a nice run cancel from King to catch him on the trip guard. Yeah, Forever King is feeling it. He is looking to close this out. He is pushing him in the corner. He's getting things going. And a nice response here from Voorhees. Uh oh, but now Voorhees has the corner. What's he going to do with this? Stuffs him. Uh oh. And a nice combo here for 20 damage. Trying to make it hurt. No pain, no gain. All right, now Voorhees definitely just evened up the round here by getting the health back and gets an armor run. Oh, and a flash parry for Forever King to get his pressure back. Nice tech. All right, Junior's trying to dig himself out of this hole here, put himself on the board round-wise. Now he's trying to get a match. Woo! Ooh. And a nice neutral jump punch to stuff the armor run. Indeed. And he knew that he was going to delay wake up. He spends, spends all the stamina. And now he's just stuff, just stuffing everything he does in the corner. But he doesn't get it that time. King was relentless with trying to get out with the interactive. Oh, yeah. Eventually did. Now he has the corner himself. Oh, my gosh. These guys are just trading blows. They are not trying to go home. Neither of them trying to lose right now. Or he's fighting on tournament life right now, trying to get on the board. Oh, and a nice whiff, but no punish. Woo, and stuffs him again, trying to get it out the corner. Gets a nice, healthy damage combo here. Forever King showing that, no, you will not condition me. You will not have me scared. And another armor run from Borhees. No brutality, though. Is there a condition to fulfill for that one? You're going to have to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, look, yeah, I'm, I don't I'm play just the character, a, but it's I'm fun just, to watch. I'm just a spectator right now. It's fun to watch people go splat. Exactly. Now Voorhees here just got on the board, looking to keep the momentum going as he keeps the pressure going. Nice combo here, about to get some healthy damage, but gets the knockdown instead. You know what? I know who knows, and I know who's watching right now that can help us. Doombox, tweet me and let me know if there's a condition to fulfill for doing the charge and getting the brutality. Well, I know one condition that's happening right now, and that's making sure that you Ass keep your it. yeah, that makes sure that you keep your opponent on the ground if you're trying to win. I like that condition. <laughs> Oh, it's some nice blocks here, but gets opened up. Oh, Forever King with the drop, picks it back up. Now he's got the corner pressure, and now he's stuffing Burrito Voorhees. That Burrito's getting filled right now as he is stuffing with all these attacks, but gets out anyway. Oh, and he gets the pain and gain cancel. Nice damage for 30. Still using pain again in spite of his bow health. Look at that. Forever King has full and meter. The damage. His brother doesn't care. One more clean damage. in and he Stuck gets it. Stuck the X-ray to kill him. Oh my God! Did you see the life deficit come back there? It was like 75 to 20. 
And that and Junior and did not care. He just kept fighting. Now we have seen this situation so many times over the weekend. Yep. The reverse 3-0 situation is so dangerous because yes, you man. have to think on the other side. The momentum just completely shifted. And now you get to see that change of pace, that change of emotion, that change of demeanor. Yes, exactly. The decision making progress. What is the next step? How can I stop this guy? What do I need to do to get this back in my favor? Voorhees here looking to close things out. Little brother looking to take out the big brother. Let's see how it goes. And a nice down one to start here. And a nice interruption to the cancel. King All is right. really believing in his trimmer, and I find that very interesting because he is one to switch to a counter pick. Yes, he thinks it's better. If he's losing, he will switch characters quickly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, and gets a nice Tuck stuff. Football, man. Look now, at that arm. This is what Voorhees does. He he picks his shots, but Forever King, very hard to condition. He will keep coming at you no matter how many times you hit him. All right, now Voorhees here. Oh, and he wake stuffs the wake up X-ray. He's like, no, sir. I'm not having it today. Neutral jump punch. Oh, Say, yes. my crazy, just a little more crazy than yours. Sometimes you just got to do it. He shot a shot. Exactly. He shot a shot, and he missed. But he's still in this. Forever King fighting for tournament life right now. He's keeping this pressure going. And a nice combo to start. Trying to keep... Voorhees from pressuring him, not getting much off the crystalline armor as every time he does it, Voorhees has the boss toss to stuff it. Voorhees not really opting to go for the mix-ups anymore as he sees that King is aware of him and is blocking the majority of him. Oh Ooh. my god! Nice armor grab into the corner we go. Three. We got to find an answer for this and oh, fast. Man. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. King has barred a uh, I was gonna say clash, oh my god. <laughs> That's a break. <laughs> oh, but he man. chose not oh, to want to use the meter Do for have the damage. Hard. Oh my god, this could and be he bad. Gets the He's game. dead. He is dead. Wow, nice comeback by Little Brother there. And the reverse 3-0 from Little Bro. Oh my goodness. That was nasty. Some footwork tonight. We're gonna see some fancy footwork. If you're new to the fighting game community, um, when someone comes out of loser's bracket, they have to win two sets. So Forever King Jr. has to beat Scar six times to win this tournament. Scar only has to win three in one set. So if he wins three in one set, he wins the whole tournament. He now, is fun fact, Scar got his start using hat trick Kung Lao. Yes, in before MKX. the bus. Exactly, before, before the bus. The and made it to top eights with hat trick before the bucks. Now, so let's see here. Uh, as he takes a trip down memory lane, let's see how much he's got. All right, goes for the plus frames. Oh, and some nice cancels here. All right, boy, he's here looking to get some stuff going himself. Now, with the changes, Kung Lao cannot wake up with spin as a wake up, but he does have armor teleport. One more clean hit. Scar hit. Has a pixel, but he can still win this. He's got to be careful. Get that touch. 4-4. Four, four. Burrito Back doesn't three. have enough to break. He can die here. He's got a pixel. Oh, my. Ooh, got it's him. Tricky stuff here from Scar. Dude, we've seen too many pixel comebacks in this top eight alone. Yeah, people are trying to go home. They're people not. are definitely not trying to go home. They are never giving up. All right, now for those of you that do not know. Oh, and he gets it right there. And hat trick, Kung Lao has the ability to call his hat back. From, from multiple angles, he could put it in front of him, behind him, or in the air, and he has that. He has a meter burn hat throw that comes back, and if you get it on hit, can get a full combo punish. Indeed, and those combos are very fun to watch. Yes, yeah, very fun. But right now, we're watching Kung Lao get it taken to him in this corner. Oh with my pressure. God! Raw spin. Okay. The nerve of this man. He did it. All right, so he lets him rock with the meter burn throw. Double overhead. Nice hit. block. Burrito blocks it. Charges in. And another meter burn spin. Yes, sir. Why not? Nice blocks here from Scar. Oh, and a meter burn dive kick. Yep. Again, he won with the same amount of health. Low pixels. I that, like it. That was <laughs> Scar goes up 1-0 to zero with hat trick Lau. Yes. 
This is what I like to see right here. This makes me happy. This this brings warmth to my heart. And it goes immediately for the mix-up off of the Teleport 3. Nice stuff here from Voorhees. Now Voorhees here still has to go through the gauntlet, so all of these matches he has to make count. Scar looking like he's having a good time right now, but he needs to clean it up with those hat trick combos. He's going to have to get those canceled so he can get this mileage. Because Voorhees is definitely on point as he gets the boss toss and two hit, three hits for 19% damage. Big boy stuff. Fight. All right, some patience here from Voorhees. Gets the boss toss. Nice awareness from Voorhees, understanding that the meter burn hat toss, when it comes back, is a high. Ooh, and waits him out on the throw. Gets a full damage combo. Back 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Set up on the way. Oh, Scar tried to avoid that. Yes, he did. Got and quit. a punish on the spin. And a oh, there the go his guts. We got Scratch. hit with the brutality. He fulfilled whatever conditions needed to be fulfilled that time. Such a mess. So messy. All right, so Voorhees takes, takes this game and does a really strong job here. So it's 1-0 right now. All right, so we definitely we got a nice little treat, but Scar's here to stay too. He's about business. Is he going? If to something go doesn't work, he's not going to keep doing it. Predator. And he goes to Predator, huh? looking for that zoning, or is he looking to fight him? Uh oh, warrior. we got Warrior. No, he's going to get oh, him. Oh, okay. So he's going to his bread and butter. Scar wants Sonya. his money. Wait a minute. Scar Sonya. wants his money. All right. Special forces. Yeah, okay. All right, goes to demolition. Definitely Special forces. Special Forces? Oh, we getting all kinds of treats today. I'd like to see it. Okay, all right, goes to Demolition. Yeah. He Perfectly can play fine. all three. Stick with, what you, stick with the stuff that's been working. Yep, ride the horse that got you to the race. Exactly. Now, Ferritor here having those armor moves. However, the maximum hits of some of those armor moves is only two. So Demolition having those three grenades out can definitely do some work against that stuff and stuff a lot of those different options that Ferritor has. Yes, sir. Ooh, and an empty jump low. What oh is this, my Street God. Fighter? Man, Scar's going right in, dropping bombs on Ferritor, getting his grenades out. Oh, and a jump nice jump. Punch. Here we go. Trying to get this damage in. Boom. Blowing him up. Literally, literally blowing him up. Splat knockdown. More grenades on the way. Burrito jumps right into it, and Scar just got the hood perfect with the chip. So as you can see here, a whole different ball game now that he has those grenades out. Doing a very good job keeping Ferritor contained. Before he breaks out, and now he's got a chance to get something going. Gets the hard knockdown, goes for pain and gain, stuffs the corner escape. All right, what's the mix up? Reload, and armors through it. Voorhees doing an excellent job finding those gaps and armoring through them to get the knockdown. And that grenade combo. Oh my goodness. Boop, boop, boop. Nice stuff here. Now Scar trying to make trying to make himself as far away from Ferritor as possible, realizing that Ferritor up close can be a nightmare if he gets his pressure going. Oh, he waited for that. He just sat there. Like, no, I'm not having that punch right in the face. Here comes the pressure. Sonia with the bow into the grenades. Brings out more grenades. Ferritor is just trying to keep her in the corner, trying to maintain the pressure, trying to get this big damage. So much damage, but no bar. And there a nice go. armored run again. Borghese is on fire with those runs right you now. You bar, you got bar. He used meter twice just to maintain his presence. Woo! And a nice stuff. Oh Borghese up 2-0 right now against Scar. 2-1. Two one, yes. Where <laughs> two one? Let's get the score right. Let's not have another mishap. Did he get something with Kung Lao? Oh my goodness! Yes, he In did. In either case, here, boy, he's looking to reset the bracket. Regardless, boy, he's is putting on a clinic right now as he is trying his hardest to keep Scar contained. Scar gets a nice dive kick finish. Now, what's the setup? Reload. And the neutral jump punch for the full combo. Some healthy damage here. He's looking for that 48%. Oh my gosh. Oh man, Burrito's looking really strong now, trying to reset the set and send Scar to losers. Now, in another time, you would have thought this may have been unwinnable for Ferritor, but obviously, this is something different that we're seeing here. 
It's called Heart. Yes. And Voorhees got a lot of it right now as he's looking to tear scars from his chest. Yes, sir. With that 42% combo. Oh, close. Voorhees needs one more round to reset the bracket. Scar not looking to let that happen. He is not trying to stay here any longer than he needs to be, but he will. Scar picking a spot. He knew that Ferrisaur was going to swing back to where he gets the mix up. Oh, and a right nice anti air. Oh, man. He dropped his combo, and Tor didn't even have anything to break. This could cost Scar the whole match. And he just Ooh. used the bar on a dive kick, so he oh, can't man. break the combo. Scar's got to clean it and up, but he, he can't. And he resets the bracket. The whole bracket has been Boss reset. Toss. Scar is not happy about that. He immediately goes to rematch. Here we are. Scar has been sent to lose his And the spirit of Sasha Banks lives on as he is boss tossing all over the screen. I respect that. Let's go. Yes. Oh, my gosh. All right. Scar doing a very good job here, picking apart Burrito Borges with these grenades. Scar saying it's time to get serious. Playing a lot more conservatively now, not really looking to take the fight to Borges as he sees Ferritor is built for war, and he is definitely showing that right now. And a meter burn spring kick. Nice blocks here from Voorhees, but Voorhees here, not a lot of life uh -oh. to lurk with. Whip Look at the even two. that, but drops the combo. Just ate that punish. And chip damage to finish the round. Scar wasn't having it this time. He's got to clean it up and close it out. Ooh, Ooh where's your like down that. two at, boy? Dive kicks out of danger, trying to pick a spot here, trying to catch Burrito doing something unsafe so he can open him up and drop some bombs on him. All right, Scar doing a lot better job, playing a lot more patient, looking to zone him out a little bit more. Gets the anti-air grenade again. All right, gets another Oki setup, but armor run again. Voorhees showing he does not care. I will run all over you, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. Scar showing there is, as you're going to hold this setup and the zoning and that trade. Nope, we didn't get a Hurricane Rana. All right, so Scar looking a lot more cleaned up here, making the necessary adjustments. Down to get out of my skies. Ooh, nice instant air dive. Or he's bought the time that he needed, but he's going to have to make something change if he wants to make it count. Yes, he is, sir. Nice blocks here. Scar went for the low. Got the grenades, opened them up. We're trying to maximize. Tor, what you doing in the background there, She's baby? Panicking. You see Farrah running in a frenzy. Like, oh my God, what is going on? Somebody help me. But it's okay. Tor's got the offense starting. He's got the corner now. Farrah stabbing him in his neck. Pain and gain. I need this damage. Ooh, and a nice conversion off the stuff on the corner escape. Gets the full damage combo for 42%. Yes. Uh, let's go. Oh, whoa, what a stuff. These guys are brawling. I like this. Now, Scar trying desperately to get out the corner here. Tries to get his resources started, but pays for it. Nice spring kick. Yes, launching him all the way mid-screen and trying to carry him to the other side while reloading his grenades. Oh, and a dive kick to avoid the boss toss. Oh, Voorhees gets caught trying to counter poke. You have to be careful and know your gas when it comes to those grenade reloads, those grenade setups. Where he's doing a very good job, not letting him get the trade, but gets opened up anyway. I'm loving the patience exhibited by both players. Stars is trying to open him up and close it out, as he does. Rounds are tied. Scar's up one game in the second set, trying to save his tournament that he got to all the way in winners. All right, here we go. Now Scar oh, here looking funny. to take the fight to Voorhees, but takes a risk, and now he's got to hold this big damage for it. And a sweep to get the knockdown. Very interesting choice here from Burrito Voorhees. We are seeing all kinds of new stuff here today. I haven't seen that string in a long, long time. Hard knockdown right. into a reload. Note uses a grenade. And goes for the whole Enchilada with those with those meter burn grenades. And Scar not trying to do anything fancy, just trying to close out the game. That's two. Two, guys. 
Yeah. Why always you, Scar? <laughs> if you reset. You reset, you reset the, bracket. the bracket. So it's 2-0 -oh now. <laughs> oh, my God. Get it together, guys. Everyone playing Scar forgets how to count. He's that intimidating. Here we go. Scar's up 2-1, to one, trying know. to win the whole tournament right now. I took a high voltage grenade to the face. I might learn, forget how to count, too. Ha! That may be the case. The grenades are scrambling the brain. Look at the electricity. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah, it's Everyone's a brains are getting scrambled by all this electricity. They can't count anymore. But here we go. All right, now. Forever King Jr. is a little mentally guard broken from his inability to count games. Now, right, now Voorhees here, trying to pick himself back up here, trying to get something started. Using some staggers here, trying to find, find an opening, but Scar's defense is just on point today. Nice stuff, but doesn't get the conversion. Oh, goes for the mix-up, but doesn't get it. Oh, and a neutral jump punch. All right, he's going to get the damage this time. Side switch. Nice damage. Very good stuff here. Almost evens up the life lead. But now Scar's out the corner, but gets a neutral jump punch. Oh, and gets caught Ooh. trying to throw the interactable. No pain, Scar no is trying to win the whole tournament right now. He's up around. He has no meter, but he's going to get some really quickly. You got to believe that. Now, boy, he's here working his way in, inching further and closer, trying to get him to the corner. Very good spacing for Scar. Not really pushing the yep. issue, just picking his shots. Looking very Mayweather-esque right now. Yes, sir. And I guess Burrito will be McGregor. Just frantically rushing in. All right, so preview of things to come right now. Yes, sir. You've seen it here first. <coughs> you don't have to spend $100 on the pay-per-view. All right, now Voorhees here has one more chance to make this work as, work as he gets the breaker. Scar looking to close out the tournament, gets a random poke. What's the answer? And a jump in finish. And Scar takes Mortal Kombat X here at Summer Jam 11. Very impressive performance by Sonya. Very impressive run through losers by Burrito Voorhees, Forever King's brother. I always love seeing him play. He's a very solid player. The new blood has taken over, man. Yeah, definitely. But Scar still showing that he still has it. Yes, sir. But I still reign in this game. I Ain't like nothing that. changed. Things still the same. You got bars out here? <laughs> you freestyling on the mic? Well, no, <laughs> but that's a very, very good set there from both players. Yes, I really very, very good it. stuff. So, Summer Jam 11, very, very strong tournament so far for NetherRealm Games. Very, very strong very showing. Nice a lot of upsets, a lot of hearts broken, a lot of surprises. Gur making top eight. Yes. Gurr. Now it was, it was, it was definitely like he was making waves. He was definitely yes, doing his he's thing. He's improved tremendously. Like his fundamentals and his defense. Oh my God! In the team tournament, did you watch that? No, I didn't. Uh, got all the way to grand finals, and he was playing dead shot. He was playing main. He's just been so patient. His trait management has gotten better since Injustice One. He was very frantic and aggressive because he could be with the design of that character. But now in this game, in the last month, you can see how his fundamentals have improved significantly, and it yes. shows throughout the whole tournament. He literally gets better with every tournament, and yes. it is a very interesting and very pleasing thing to see from one of our newer players, the new blood. As you so well put it, all the definitely under 20 coming players up. putting in work, man. All the under 20 players. It's a young man's game, man. We it getting is. old out here. The Evo <laughs> champion is 19. Man. And the guy that <laughs> came in second, <laughs> he ain't that much far from him. He's 18. No, uh, Honey, how old is Honey B? It's 23. Honey yeah, Honey B, he's a little older he's now. He's a little older now. Older now but, but when he first stepped up old. into the scene, yeah, he's still a pretty young guy, still a pretty young cat. So we definitely got some new blood, some young blood Simon out here Fox today. Is only 18. Doing a lot of a lot of hard work out here. And Sonic Fox, one of the most winningest players in NetherRealm history. Yes. If not you, the most by now. Yes. Since a legend Injustice in his own won. right. Since Injustice One, he's been down Injustice One. Easy. Like even MK9 when he was like 14. He was winning Big E tournaments because back then we had MLG for MK9 and a lot of the top players would go to MLG. So Sonic Fox would be here with Kevo and just beat Kevo in grand finals. As a 14-year-old playing Flesh with Molina, having no business looking at naked girls at that age. But somehow he still makes it work and he's still looking at naked girls in so many different games. Yes, sir. Skull Girls player. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about that. DOA player. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about Jiggle that. physics. But just he's grown now. 
So it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But back then, no, sir, it was unacceptable. We don't have that here. We so, don't tolerate it. So let's 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 talk about what's happening later tonight. Sure. Because you have a Justice Two later tonight. We at are main eventing on twitch.tv slash netherrealm at 7.30. We are the main event here at Summer Jam. Everyone needs to tune in and support that. Thank you. Shout out to Big E for giving us this huge support. Shout out to NRS for the pop bonuses, the IPS circuit, ESL, all that good stuff. I love the direction that Netherrealm games are headed right now. Exactly. So let's talk about the direction of the meta, okay. where the game is heading. First, number one surprise, Punk. Yes, we're gonna yes. go there. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna okay, we're, this go is where we're starting with. Okay. So punk. Let's address the pink elephant in the room. Is definitely showing promise, and yes. and and it's causing a bit of controversy. It you is. know, uh, he's very vocal on Twitter. Yeah, and 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 you got a lot of the guys here. They 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 don't they don't feel too good about that. You know, we're uh, sensitive about our stuff. You know, we and and it, and it makes uh, sense. You know, when you when you feel like much. when you feel like there's you know a bit of a. A difference there, a skill gap. Look, man, I don't think anyone's taking this personally, but we want to send a message. Uh, Punk originally showed up and said he is going to beat Sonic Fox and quit this game. <laughs> and two, as a response, I said to him last night, we'll be glad to have you for the next two years because it's not going to happen. <laughs> well, we got to see now because remember, yeah, he, went he made, top eight. Last he made night. top eight a dream yes, hack.